Okay, so I've got Excel 2006 MSO version 16.0.7. Going out of focus. Yeah, 16.0.7329.1051 32-bit so I've got that on one laptop and the laptop on the, on the left is the one with Excel 2010 so let's try this I've got the files of uh, the one that Mark sent me uh, here on the desktop those two I just got from the email I'll just open one of them so enable macros this is the uh, NBH main external works file now everything on the LPD, LPR sheet, variation looks fine. There's the cells here hidden between cell 5 and, and the others. They're, they're hidden. Uh, this is the setup one. So everything is in order here. What I'm going to do first as a quick test, and I haven't done this with these files, is click an update just to see if anything goes out of work. So this is LRC double four one, which I could I have it linked on the network here. It's LRC I'll just type it. It's going a bit slow on this computer because this one is opening from the network. I didn't realize my network is so slow, but um, we'll just wait for it. While we're waiting for um, that one to do the thing. Why have I got the same two files with the same name? Test, test, 21 I've got the same file twice here. It's exactly the same file name. 2017. Okay, so we've got two, two copies of the same file. I'll open one copy on this one. This is Microsoft 2010 same files by the way okay. you sent me two files but they're the same file same date but uh, one is called test one brackets and that one is test um, so while that, that's going on over there what I'm going to do with this other version here is um, add some something to the setup at the bottom Just a new code Okay, so I'm going to co add code here 999. I'm going to call it ed test and uh, I'm going to sync the, uh, the sheets together here. Much quicker there, it's not running over my network because the files are saved on this computer. This is 2010, this is 2016.
All right, so this one is finished and we don't expect anything to go wrong here but uh, because this is 2010 and we've been running on 2010 um, the only thing is I'd expect to see that it, or the test one being added in there somewhere 9999 here we go, it test so this file I'm going to close it and save it, I've done some changes in 2010 here I'm going to open this version on this computer and that one on this computer back in 2010 let's see what happens um, okay so that's finished finished updating and everything is still nothing has lost its um, format everything is still where it's supposed to be I don't have that section there like the one that you showed me Mark where it's just gone out of uh, out of whack everything is still formatted properly now I'm going to save this one I'm going to do the same thing now but what I might do I'm just going to grab test one which is a copy from here I'm going to save it on this desktop here so it opens quicker rather than waiting for it to go over the network and I'm going to go over here and open the one that I was updating is this, is this the one with the 999 This, this is not one. Uh, sorry. Test this one. I'll copy it onto the desktop. This one should have the, the code I added in 2010, the 999. There it is. Ed test. So this file has been edited on 2010. And what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add another code here, 998, call it ed test 2, and I'm going to do some, uh, you know, let it synchronize. And while we're waiting for that one, I'm going to grab this one here that was modified on 2016, and I'm going to add something to it at the bottom 997 and test 3 so this file here being modified on the 2016 now I'm going back to 2010 I opened it in 2010 and everything is still is still the way it was nothing's gone out of whack on my computer so uh, I'll just do an update here for my new code 997 on this one That one is still running slow, must be my old computer. No. So, well, what I'll do is I'll swap them over basically. Whatever I'm opening here, I'm doing some work. I'm opening in 2010, I'm taking it back there and watching for anything that goes out of, uh, out of format, really. That's, uh, Okay, so this file here was edited in 2016 and I came back to Office 2010 and I did some addition, an update, um, and everything is still the same. I'll, I'll add some more variations to it in here. Then, oh, it's already up to 40, so there's no, no point adding that. Uh, let's add some more than 40, uh, so I make it 50. Yep, so we've got 50 now. Nothing has gone out of alignment. Um, I'll close this file, save it. 
And just to keep track of what I'm doing, I'm going to call it test 2010 here. And when this is done, I'll open it back in 2016 and take that one that I'm playing with here, 2016, whack it in there and open it in 2010 and uh, make sure that everything is all right. By the way, Mark, if you want to meet my Mark, he, he's over here. That's my little Mark. <laughs> he's being quiet. Okay, so um, let's still go. Yeah, this is a very, very uh, old PC. That's my new laptop. That's my my older laptop. I put 2016 on that one, not on the one that I used from day to day. So uh, remember, my version, I've noted the version number that I have, compare it to yours. Uh, maybe there's been a, an issue initially, maybe, perhaps, and Microsoft uh, uh, applied a fix. This version I, I just downloaded uh, a couple of days ago from Microsoft directly. So, Alright, so this one here I'm going to save it as, um, let's give it a different name, I'm going to call it 2016 so I'll close it here now there's the one that I called 2010 and where's my 2016 I'll just drop it into the shared folder okay so that's the one that I edited on that computer I'm opening here this one's been edited. This file has been edited in 2016, back in 2010, and now back in 2016 for the second time. And I'm going to add another code here, 996. I'm going to call it blue, and I'm going to do another sync. And while that's going on, I'm going to grab the file called 2016, which we just done here. This file we just done on the 2016 machine. And I open back in 2010. This is similar to the file that you have up, updated in the uh, remote location and you opened it back at your 2010 Sydney office. Nothing's gone out of uh, alignment. Everything, everything is still exactly the same. That area there where I saw the problems before is still exactly the same as it was. And. Uh, just for good measure, getting a bit repetitive here, I'm adding another one. Um, I should add that on a sec. 99, 995, call it green. Do another sync. So I could keep doing that all day long and nothing is changing on my computer. Um, yeah, we've had files modified in 2016, opened here, done some work here, uh, saved them, opened them here, done some work multiple times. And um, the two versions seems to be working just fine. I don't see any issues. So this will be the last run. I'll wait for it to sync here. And this is called 2010 that file but I'm on the 2016 machine so and this is called 2016 but I'm on the 2010 machine done some updates on on this one nothing is out of alignment everything is still correct I'll close that 2016 version save it
All right, so that's done, and everything is still where it's meant to be. The formatting on all the sheets is still fine here. This file is called uh, 2010, test 2010. I'll close it, I'll save it, and I'll come back here. And it's this file here, 2010. I'll open it back on the 2010 machine. Let's have a look everything is still where it's meant to be. So I've gone through a few cycles of editing, updating, adding items, even including extra variations and so on, and nothing is, is changing on this computer. So um, yeah, um, maybe check out the, uh, the version that I'm using compared to yours if there is a problem. Um, the next step would be perhaps is reproducing the problem while I'm watching it. Maybe if we can do a, a remote session or something, we can verify uh, this for sure, that um, if we can get access to those machines, I don't know, but we'll speak over the 